After having had no really major illnesses my whole lifetime, it was really rather a shock to, well, first of all, be have these strange sensations which ended up being diagnosed as temporal lobe seizures when I was in my late 50s. But I was feeling rather strange and then building up to these rather strange experiences. Went to my neurologist finally, well was sent to a neurologist finally. Had an MRI scan and they found this cavernoma, this thing called a cavernoma. When I was called to the neurologist the day after the MRI, he thought I was rather calm when he told me about this thing in my brain. But when you think about it, of all the things he could have found, finding a cavernoma didn't seem so bad. It wasn't malignant. It wasn't bleeding. Um, temporal lobe seizures sounded like something that could be controlled and, and with medication. And after myriad medications, we did find something that controlled them, could control them. So it didn't seem so bad after all. But in fact, it did change my life. It did change my life dramatically. And when I thought about it and looked back upon it, the couple of years running up to that diagnosis, I had been incredibly exhausted. I thought I was stressed out in my job, as they say, although I didn't like that stress word. I had resigned my job, and it ended up all because of the effects I was feeling from this strange phenomena. But my problem didn't so much seem to be my cavernoma, but epilepsy. So I didn't think about my cavernoma at all. Well, well not, not much anyway. I, I worried more about epilepsy and wanted to understand what that was. I was concerned about these anti-epileptic drugs I was on. And I was trying to come to terms with this new mind body that I was experiencing. And my life really sh shifted gear after being pretty much in feeling like I was in control, if that's the right word, of my day, of my mind, and of my physicality. I was, I was, I was a great practitioner of yoga, and that that stopped. I couldn't so much. Um, practice the way I was practicing. My concentration levels were down. It, life changed and my work changed. But I did um, become a member of the Cavernoma Alliance, which ended up being a very good thing. Learned more about Cavernomas. And after not wanting to pay too much attention to them, I had to pay attention to them because a couple of years down the line, although I had the odd breakout seizure every now and again, one morning I hit ground, something that never happened before. Um, and that was the beginning of another journey.